All right, let's take a look at slide four together. If you remember from your worksheet, it asks you to define the word cabinet in this situation. The cabinet you will see I've already underlined for you in the text. It says a group of advisors. Also, you will see on your worksheet that you will need to write the central idea for paragraphs three, four, and five for the section called the first president. So I'm going to read the text. Read along with me. Soon after Washington became president, Congress created different departments within the executive branch. For example, the Department of State was created to handle relations with other countries. The Department of the Treasury dealt with the nation's finances. Washington chose one person called a secretary to run each of these departments. He picked Thomas Jefferson as the Secretary of State and Alexander Hamilton as the Secretary of the Treasury. Henry Knox, who had been in the Army with Washington, became the Secretary of War. As the Attorney General, Edmund Randolph advised Washington on legal matters. This group of advisors became known as the President's Cabinet. They met often to help Washington govern. The creation of the cabinet is an example of a practice begun by Washington that continued after he left office. Now we have to write a central idea for each of these paragraphs. As I read paragraph three at the top, I asked myself, what's the main idea? And the question that came to my mind was, what did Congress create? If you said that Congress created different departments within the executive branch, that sounds like a really good central idea. You can type that here on your worksheet. The next paragraph talks about the different people that Washington chose to help run these departments. But it doesn't just talk about Thomas Jefferson and it doesn't just talk about Alexander Hamilton. And the whole paragraph doesn't just talk about Henry Knox or Edmund Randolph. It talks about all of them and talks about their job. Their job is called a secretary. So Washington chose one person called a secretary to run each of these departments. So these men were called a secretary. And what was their purpose? We didn't know what secretaries were and all these advisors became known as a cabinet. So for me, the central idea for this last paragraph is the group of advisors became known as the president's cabinet. After you have the central ideas for paragraphs three, four, and five on your worksheet, then take each of those sentences and make it into a summary for the whole section.